So how to begin a conversation about quitting smoking revolves around a very kind of subtle shift inside where you you move towards more equanimity. When I say equanimity, I mean a calmness and compassion and consideration and sense of curiosity for how um, how your your friend, your colleague, your neighbor, your partner, how they got to this point in life, what role smoking played in their life. Aside from all the stuff that everyone knows about it being, you know, not great for you. How did they get into that? What sustained it? What role does it play in their life? Now, when you have that kind of attitude in mind, that I'm not going to change someone here. I'm not going to judge them. I'm not going to make them feel bad. I'm just going to help them to become super curious about the role that smoking plays then this is this is exactly where you can add huge huge value because the way to begin a conversation is for you to no matter what questions you're asking is to be in this uh, is to have adopted this mood this attitude this kind of general tone in your demeanor of oh that's really interesting i wonder i wonder how how they came to do this i wonder what role it plays in their life i wonder when they look at it in the totality of their life what themes they can find in their life of how resourceful they are that they didn't even know that might be a deep deep um therapeutic or or, or a deep sense of create a deep sense of empowerment for them and so the way to begin a conversation about quitting smoking is not to think about any specific questions, first of all. It's not to mention about quitting smoking. It's simply to make this internal shift inside you as the person who's asking the question to be very, very, very mindful of your own state of mind. Because when you're in this more uptime, curious, fascinated kind of um this fascinated way of being other people will start to pick up on that and we know this through the research on mirror neurons and the research on this basically shows that for instance if somebody's watching a tennis match the a person <laughs> the person watching can feel tired fatigued because their mind in their mind they're they're actually they're quite often micro movements even going on in their body but they are actually responding their brain is responding and tuned in to the way that people are playing tennis. And it's very much the same in our conversations that the mood and tone that somebody brings is something that we pick up on. All right. And you know this, you've been around other people, some people who are just inspiring and uplifting. And you finish the conversation, you feel incredible, you just feel alive. And there are other people. You just, you walk out the room and oh my God. So you prefer those ones where you have those conversations with people and they just stimulate you. And, you know, they're, they're through the mixture of the stories, their ways of being, the fact that they're interested in what you have to say, the fact they're curious, the fact they even like follow up and go, wow, that's really interesting. I really like that. The fact that they do that puts you at ease. And so the way to begin a conversation about quitting smoking is not to mention anything about smoke, about, about the actual mechanism of quitting. It's not to mention anything about having any judgments. It's simply to make sure that you are in the ideal state. And the ideal state, as we mentioned, is one of curiosity and fascination. All right. Because ultimately, smokers are either going to feel very, very bad about <laughs> about smoking and feel bad about their chances of quitting or they could feel fascinated about what they're learning from having been through that journey in their life take those lessons and learnings about how important it is to meet emotional needs for example and the role that it's played and find new ways to achieve the same higher intentions that the old behavior did 
all in a state of fascination and curiosity and self-learning, which leads to great empowerment in their life going forward, bleeds into all other areas of their life, this greater awareness and metacognition and this sense of absolutely that they can do anything they put their mind to. If and when they're able to look at this the the habit in the context of their life with a sense of fascination and curiosity and not self-reproach and not self-judgment and not feeling bad and who's the person who's listening to me right now at this very moment who's learning skills that they can use to be able to help folk to change well that's you my friend and the reason that you can do that is because you've made this crucial crucial understanding that you begin any conversation by making sure that you are in this curious and fascinated state and when you do that well then anything that comes out of you the actual words that you utter, the way that you say them are going to have this deep resonance all right because remember that when when Moravian and many other people have looked at kind of the, the quality of our communication we have this this kind of like classic kind of breakdown of you know that 55 percent of the communication is body language 38 percent is the tone of voice the way that you say something and only you know the the remaining you know seven percent or whatever the actual words that that we use now those words are important but it's the way that they're asked and the way that they are asked is a reflection of how you're feeling inside so if somebody has deep judgment and is irritated then that's reflected in their tone of voice so their words become imbued with that and what the other person picks up on is that irritation and judgment if it's from a sense of curiosity and fascination on the other hand then that comes through in their tone of voice and it gets really picked up on is the meta message as the power message as the deeper inference of what is asked and then that supports the other person to go into this place of deeper consideration and transformation and that my friends is how to begin a conversation about quitting smoking and i would put it to you that it's the way to begin any conversation any healthy conversation that you want to have with another human being <laughs>